afternoon. Thank you all so much for being here today. My name is Shira Lifgrief, and I am one of the chairs for the Jewish Criminal Professionals for Southern California Salon Series. Um, each year, JCPSC works in partnership with Hebrew Union College to provide a series of evenings or afternoons that focus on areas of professional development, professional growth, um, and leadership. Today, we are here to honor a particularly incredible Jewish communal professional leader. Uh, Shloshim in Jewish tradition marks the end of the initial 30-day period of mourning and is, tra um, and is traditionally a time when people gather together to remember and to honor someone who has passed. Ted Kanner facilitated the construction of what we know as today's organized Los Angeles Jewish community. He spent his career organizing and inspiring and building, um, organizing and inspiring the building of the community. Uh, Ted facilitated collaborative initiatives that resulted in partnerships in organizational growth, increased Jewish communal involvement, and built interconnected, interdependent Los Angeles Jewish community. And he did so with integrity, with passion, and a strong belief in the power of collaboration. Today we honor him, his leadership, and his memory, the results of which we can see in our organization and community today. We have with us Merv Lemmerman, Jerry Bubis, and Esther Shapiro, all professional colleagues and friends of TED and impressive Jewish communal professionals in their own right. Um, they're each invited to speak about TED their memory of him and his leadership. Um, and then we'll open the floor and invite more sharing and contributions. Um, so thank you again for being here and for honoring Ted's memory with us today. Um, and I invite her. Thank you. Or, anyone sign this? Now you are. Ted and I met in 1963 when we were both in the Jewish Community Center field. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Ted was in Tucson and I was in Long Beach. We became good friends right away and have been friends and colleagues since. In 1974, Ted was already with the Federation here, and he recruited me to come in and to work with him in the LA Federation and supervise the regions. The title was Director of Suburban Services. <laughs> Ted's commitment was to building Jewish community. And in a community of more than 600,000 Jews, the regions represented community organization with outreach to the grassroots. To Ted, building Jewish community involved strong commitment to many things, but among them to CRC and to campaign and to extend beyond the local community to world Jewry and to Israel. Thus, the LA Federation became a leader in the Soviet Jewry movement, and we partnered with Israel in Project Renewal, twinning with the Musrara neighborhood of Jerusalem. Ted believed in partnerships, partnerships that would help build the Jewish community. And he felt that there were especially three partnerships that were critical to a vital, vibrant federation. The genuine and not token partnership of lay and professional leadership. The partnership
leadership of the synagogues and the Federation, through the work of the Council on Jewish Life, and through special allocations to synagogues for innovative projects of outreach to the unaffiliated. And finally, the partnership of the local agencies and the Federation to provide services for those who need them and for Jewish education. He had a strong commitment to lay leadership development, to build the foundation for the future of the Jewish community. And in that respect, it's so nice to see the Kabrams here. A significant number of the current leadership are products of these leadership development programs, not only in the Federation, but also throughout the community, in local agencies, in synagogues, and in the Hebrew Union College and the American Jewish University. Ted felt that Jewish <coughs> education had to become one of the top Federation priorities. And thus, he gave significant leadership to the process that led to the Bureau of Jewish Education becoming a full-fledged agency instead of a department of the Federation. It was of critical importance to Ted to build a campaign and to lead by example. This required meaningful leadership gifts from both the lay and professional communities, serious solicitor training, and a commitment to face-to-face -face solicitation. Ted felt that LA had to recruit the best possible professional staff. And that included opening up advanced professional job opportunities for women. Partnerships were developed with both the Hebrew Union College School of Jewish Communal Service, now School of Nonprofit Management, and later also with the American Jewish University School for Nonprofit Management. Meaningful fieldwork opportunities for students of both programs were provided at Federation. A word about our relationship. We were good friends, and we were colleagues in a real sense. We were honest with each other. We did not always agree on issues, but there was always mutual respect, and it never affected our relationship. I really loved the guy. He had a mission to build Jewish community here at home with Israel and with world Jewry, at Klal Yisrael and Tikkun Olam were crucial elements of that mission. A key lay leader of the Jewish community has referred to the Canner years as the golden age of federation. Zecher Tzadik Libracha, may the memory of the righteous always be for a blessing. May the memory